So, um, as one of my standard tests for a new material, I'm going to zap myself. But uh, the idea is to see if we can use this material for electrotactile um, stimulation. So using just electricity to be able to feel something on you. So right here, I just have a 9 volt, um, which normally if you're just touching a 9 volt, like right, you can't feel that electricity unless you're touching it with your, th with your tongue, then you definitely notice a sensation. But this goes to a little voltage booster here. Hey, you just saw a little spark. <laughs> um, that's got this cranked up to 30 volts. And so you can see I just have these really thin electrodes. So they're thin, they're like papery. Um, and I'm just going to lightly put them on my skin and see if I can notice uh, the sensation. Da, yep. Yep. And so <laughs> that one, yeah, I can just... If I just hold this one on, just slowly brush myself with it. Yeah. Yep. And I have some of my, oh, some of my hair getting in the way. If I go up here to my elbow pit where there's less hair blocking it, I can, I can feel it just when this rubber is just barely touching it right there. Ah, and so this isn't, this is just a bare rubbery electrode and you can see how thin it is. It could be, um, applied directly to your skin, held on with other silicone, applied as like a prosthetic, but um... What happens if you do them closer? If I do them closer, then I think it's gonna hurt more. <laughs> oh. That. Oh, you know, actually, oh. Ah, it's just uh, a little more specific. So right now, too, this is just kind of hurting me because this is just a standard <laughs> electric shock. If we pulse it though, if we do like some sort of pulse width modulation instead of just zapping my arm, uh, we can make it do different kinds of sensations and just do a very brief little like tickle uh, sensation like we tried with the electric eel and even more sensitive parts of your body. Um, so this is cool. You could, you know, with this we could try to realize, uh, so I just zapped my whole arm there when I was just touching this with my finger up here. But you can see this can open up uh, being able to send messages directly to your, yep, just touching it like that, woo! It's making me kind of warm up. Um, uh, this can, you know, we can have much, any kind of form factor we want, anything you could do with thin um, latex or silicone, you could do with these and add in actuating potentials. I really, there must be a nerve right there or something like that. Um, and you could go at lower voltages too, <laughs> so. Um, this could definitely be improved, but you know, it's an awesome proof of concept right here. And you can zap yourself. If I did it on my head, I would probably see the phosphenes that I saw when I was earlier zapping my own, uh, mouth and it lit up my brain, but I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> that was cool.